So I'm gonna show you how to make a newsletter within Go High Level. I actually was using, just testing Beehive. So I'm gonna show you how to recreate that with Go High Level. And I'll be doing other series on how to do uh, Stand Store or Linktree or BioLink. Any of these things I'm gonna replace with Go High Level so that you guys have access to it so that you guys can save more money. Let's get into the juicy, juicy details. So. So we have our page here and I have already kind of started a uh, stand store, but I'm gonna go ahead and start a new funnel and go high level is really easy. So um, there are all links in the description, by the way, but let's just call this newsletter. And I believe I had a newsletter that converted pretty well, but I'm just gonna start from scratch and I'm going to model the one I have right here. So uh, very, very easy to call this uh, newsletter. And ultimately the goal here is to monetize this list uh, and use it so that I can earn recurrent income and have other uh, revenue streams. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and just call this uh, start or subscribe maybe and we'll click next. So this is the easy part. It's just a like a headline, a sub text, and then a form, and then a uh, almost like a button or a link to go to the next step in the funnel. So very, very easy, and that's what we'll be doing right now. So we'll just be pretty lazy and just copy and paste um, because I'm pretty lazy. And so we'll just add a row. We'll add the headline and we are golden. So we got to learn the best strategies. If we use F12, this is a cool little trick. You can mouse over and understand what the, uh, the font is and the size. So if we go back, you can see that it is Poppins with 60. So we'll just do Poppins and 60. And so this is going to be 60 pixels. Uh, I believe we have Poppins already, but I could be wrong. So we'll just do custom, go to default and go to Poppin. And now we have our uh, first part. So boring passive income strategy. So it looks like that, I think, yep. And so we are already ahead of the game. So we'll copy this one. The next one is 24 pixels with San Serif. And so we'll just exit this, copy this and add a, another element. The element is gonna be a subtext. I don't know why it does that. That's one thing I don't like about Go High Level. Sometimes it does weird things. So, uh, so every week we'll send you the top strategies that worked this week. And there we go. Uh, this looks like it's condensed into a little smaller area and it looks like it has some um, padding or margin here. So we want to add an image to keep everything kind of in line. So we're gonna go ahead and add this image and upload it. So we'll just go here, desktop, and this bad boy, and then we'll change it to like 50, uh, 175. Let's check what is this size. So it looks like it is 96 by 96. So we'll just go 96. And so now we have our uh, pretty much what it looks like is the same. Uh, this looks a little skinnier. So we'll see what, what that is. Um, we can probably just, this is probably just bold. Pretty close. And now all we have to do is add a little bit of space here, add a, uh, a form and add a little link. So we'll add the link and we'll have to create the form because we do not have that form created. And I'll show you guys how to do that. And we'll go to here. We need to let me read it first. So let, let me read it first. I think I had a little arrow here which we can do uh, right arrow emoji. Um, let's see what kind of emojis they have. Uh, right. We can probably copy this if we wanted and paste it here. 
And then we can make this font a little bit lighter. So maybe like that, or maybe this, but we'll change it just a little bit. Let's see how that works. Add color. Uh, it's a little bit dark or too light, but let's see, update. Here we go, a little bit darker like this. There. And make this smaller. Maybe like 18. And then we need to add a form. So um, pretty easy to do. So we'll need to add a form between uh, this every week. And let me read it first. We also probably want to move this up just a little bit. It looks like the, the settings around it, the margin and stuff is uh, kind of, there we go. Perfect. I think that's pretty, pretty good. It looks like the, the font here needs to be tightened up a little bit. Maybe one. Maybe even point, point 0.7, point 0.8. Cool. At work every week. Now we need to add our form. So pretty easy stuff. So we'll just go ahead and go back out of here. We'll go to sites and then we will go to um, forms, form builder. We will head to uh, forms builder, add new forms, start from scratch. So all we need is email. So we can take out this, take out this, take out this, and this. And I'm not that fancy to know how to attach it so it's like this. I thought it was inline, but uh, probably not. Uh, I probably will figure it out at some point. I just don't care to do it for this, uh, just this uh, example. But we'll go ahead and turn this to subscribe and turn this a pretty blue color. Uh, like they have, so maybe like this. Oh, I like that other blue. Like right around here. Boom. So now we have our form. Uh, we do probably want to turn this background transparent. Uh, actually, I think we have a white background, so that's very easy. So all we'll do now is change this to newsletter, newsletter, Boring passive income. And then we'll actually integrate that uh, form into our go high level. So we'll go back, we'll go to uh, funnels, we'll go to newsletter, uh, edit, and all we'll have to do is add the element and add the form. So form, drop it in right here. The form was newsletter, and there we go. Uh, we can probably take some of this stuff off, like take the box off. Um, we actually, let's see if we can add. So we're pretty much there. This is what it looks like uh, on Beehive, and this is what it looks like with high level. Um, I'm missing probably just the, the inline uh, form, which I'll figure out at some point, but um, pretty easy to do now. Um, so next we'll need to actually make this go to the next step. So we'll create a new page right here and we'll call it welcome. And uh, we don't have a domain set up. So this is gonna be like boringpassiveincome.com forward slash welcome. So we just need to make sure that this is welcome and welcome and then we will uh, create that later. And so we're good there, we'll go ahead and edit this. Go to read this first, and then uh, we can make it into a link. So we can do this, make it into a link, and do http forward slash boring passive income com forward slash welcome. And so we'll save that. I screwed that up. There we go. So now we have this. We'll make sure that this is just still 
uh, that gray color that we were using like that and save. So now we have our form that is we're going to be using or our newsletter that we're going to be using for our um, website. And so we've pretty much replaced the first part of the newsletter. So now we actually need to do the opt-in, the automations for that form. That form we created, we'll have to create some uh, workflows. So we go to automations, we go to workflows and create a new workflow. We'll start from scratch. And then we will do a trigger. This is gonna be news letter opt-in. Uh, boring passive. And so we got that saved. We'll publish that, which might not do anything. Okay, so now we need to do full on form submit, which is this one. Uh, this is form submitted. The form is going to be that, that newsletter. And so we'll save that. So now whenever someone uh, opts in, this workflow will start running. So we'll head and go ahead and add a tag because we wanna tag them, call it newsletter opt-in and save so now we have a tag for that particular newsletter and so we can then send an email and we can do from brandon brandon at the money friends um, and then welcome and then we can do templates so like these are all my templates uh newsletter one newsletter two newsletter three day one day two or i could just create one hey welcome this is that cool newsletter you signed up for. Uh, for. And so now I have an email uh, that will automatically send right away. And that's pretty much uh, the automation part of it. So we'll head and save that and then we'll uh, actually turn that into publication. And now it's live. So when someone submits to this newsletter, which is right here. They will be, uh, I actually need to change this one last thing. And so I totally forgot to do that. Uh, once that submission or that form has been submitted, it needs to go to the next step in the funnel. Um, so I wanna make sure that that's set up. So if we go to our pages, survey, let's do builder, um, let's do newsletter and so now that we are in the form we want to go to options right here and if you can't find that just click on this little button here options and then on submit open url and we just put that url right here and then save what you can do is just double check one last thing is go back to your actual funnel go to the uh, sites so the funnel uh newsletter edit and then we wanna make sure that this is set up, this form to do what the action says. So button action, redirect action. So go to URL, use action from form builder or go to next step. And I'm gonna just use the action from the form builder because that's what I uh, set up. Or if I wanna make it super easy, I just go to next step. So very, very easy. Publish, um, at this, assign it to a domain. But that's how you set up your uh, newsletter and how you send an email out and so how you capture leads. If you want this or the other ones that I'm building like Linktree and StanStore, then they'll be in the description to a website where you can download them. Until next time, remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.